Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 14 The Show. And here we go with some more Jackie Robinson wrote to the show. So a lot of uh, awesome things are happening around the video game world right now as E3 uh, finishes up today. And I have been uh, following pretty closely uh, a lot about what's going on. I mean, just as a YouTuber, it's you know, kind of important to really uh, see what's going on in the realm of gaming in the future and stuff like that. Be able to make plans. Uh, just kind of know what you want to get, what you want to stay away from, and things like that. So, uh, I do talk about some things in the Nolan Ryan video, which I hope all of you guys will get a chance to be able to watch. Uh, just to kind of explain some things that you'll be seeing in the future. Uh, when it comes to this channel, a little bit the reason why behind some of it. But, um, if, I don't know, like I've gotten a few questions already like, hey, are you getting this game? Are you getting that game? So I kind of wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit about what I have seen and experienced thus far. So I kind of wanted to go into shooters a little bit. Like, um, first off, um, I'm just going to get it out there. Uh, I don't plan on playing shooters on the channel. Uh, anymore. I mean, once I finish the Arma series, I'm going to be done with shooters there just to kind of save some time and um, things like that. But, uh, so yeah, but I mean, just a, a, a few things, I guess, I kind of wanted to go over it. So, uh, when I saw the Call of Duty reveal for Advanced Warfighter, it really didn't interest me at all. Like, I actually kind of thought that putting Kevin Spacey in there was a little bit of a low blow um, because they weren't really necessarily marketing the game but, or like, I don't know, in the reveal, it wasn't so much about, hey, here's the gameplay. It's, hey, we've got Kevin Spacey. And being like a House of Cards fan and stuff, like seeing Kevin Spacey in there, it just seemed like they were putting Frank Underwood in the game. I just didn't like that that much. Um, so, I mean, there's really nothing that appeals for me to get that. Like, I, Call of Duty Ghosts, yes, I bought that for the PS4. Uh, I could probably count on one hand the number of times that I've played that. So, yeah, don't expect any of that to, you know, be coming into my house. Uh, it just doesn't interest me. I mean, like, a lot of things with shooters now, like, shooters just don't interest me as much anymore either because you got to remember, like, my age. So, like, I'm 29 years old. I've been playing uh, video games for quite a while, um, 25 years. And so the whole linear shooter thing, no. I've been there, done that. There's really nothing that stands out anymore for me as something that would really interest me as far as that goes. Like, there's nothing I would want to go ahead and spend my money on that's just like, hey, let's do this. Sure, multiplayer, uh, that's really the only saving grace for some, some games anymore uh, that are kind of like linear. I mean, because you can just ignore that. And then, of course, you can go ahead and, you know, it's always a different experience whenever you play. But... I mean, I'm just not that good at Call of Duty. Um, and honestly, if I'm going to be really terrible at something, no. Um, and, you know, the the experiences that I have played, I mean, there's a lot of immaturity and stuff like that. So, no, nah, I, I just don't want to associate myself with that. Um, so, usually I get pretty excited about Battlefield. And at first, when I saw Battlefield Hardline was going to be uh, based around like a cops and robbers type of theme. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, that's kind of cool. I mean, that's a little bit different, pretty creative. Um, but I was able to get into the closed beta for Battlefield Hardline. And the more that I play it, the more that I don't like it. Um, because the way that I see Battlefield Hardline and the way that it plays out, it should have been a DLC for Battlefield 4 in the same way that Battlefield Vietnam was a DLC for Bad Company uh, or in the Bad Company franchise because if anything they've taken stuff out of the game like it's more infantry based which one I don't like that because if I'm gonna be more concerned about infantry like I'm just gonna play Call of Duty uh, which I've already talked about but like they don't have jets anymore which for me was always the coolest thing like I loved being able to fly jets I know I wasn't the best at it but I just enjoyed that part um, I don't know like vehicles was what I enjoyed the most about it and now the only real use for vehicles except for just a few uh, is really to transport infantry from one point to another so it really doesn't interest me and like I understand it's a beta um, that things will change and stuff but I've always thought like even with a beta and if you're like inviting people to play it like you're doing that to get people excited you want to put your best foot forward 
And so if I'm sitting here getting bored and I realize, you know what, this is just a lot of infantry um, style combat, then no. You know, I'm not even going to worry about it. But I, um, I don't know, like, kind of going along the line of, of dice and everything, like, Star Wars Battlefront, like, that I'm really excited about. And I know there hasn't necessarily been too much um, they posted about it, but that's something that really interests me. That's, of course, the 2015 release. Um, the uh, the new Tom Clancy uh, game that they released for uh, Rainbow Six. So Rainbow Six Siege. That looks awesome because that's definitely more tactical. Something you got to play and strategize and everything. That's the type of stuff that really excites me now is things that are innovative. Things that I haven't seen before. So, um, you know, that... Uh, you know, the division looks ridiculously cool. Destiny, I'm interested in. I mean, there are some good games that are out there that I, you know, I want to get and play. Uh, I mean, even Assassin's Creed, like the four-player co-op, like that's going to be cool. Um, Star Citizen, uh, another thing I was, I was excited about uh, that I want to get down the road. Um, but here's the thing. So Madden. Um, so again, you guys are going to want to watch the Tom, uh, Tom Clancy. You guys are going to want to watch the Nolan Ryan video because I do go a little bit more in depth into um, why, well, a little bit of the reason why I'm not going to be getting Madden um, and, or, or playing Madden anymore. But I'm definitely not going to get the next Madden either because, you know, as I was saying, innovation is something that's really big for me. And I do think Madden has been broken for some time. And so I was watching really, really closely to see what was going to happen because I'm like, all right, well, now that, you know, we've had the PS4. Uh, for quite a while, you know, they uh, EA Sports has definitely had a long enough time to really be able to go ahead and start producing a, a Madden game that's going to be a little bit better. And when I went through and I read uh, an interview by Op Operation Sports, which is actually really, really good. I mean, I, I don't want to sound like I'm knocking Operation Sports or anything, because believe me, I'm not. Like, I love those guys. I'm really appreciative of what they do and everything like that. But they did an interview with uh, one of the the head guys for Madden. And as I was reading through um, the Madden guys' responses, there really wasn't anything that stood out as, like, really innovative. Like, yeah, they're changing the defense, um, kind of focusing more on some things there, which is good. But when he was asked, like, well, I know we've heard a lot about the, the defense. What do you plan on changing on offense? Really, it just came down to we're going to make it so that way um, quarterbacks aren't going to be as accurate. Um, and if that's all that they're changing, I don't want to waste my money and I don't want to waste my time, but yeah, but like I said, I mean, I kind of explained a little bit more in the Nolan Ryan series, but, um, I did want to give your, uh, give my take a little bit about E3, what I've thought of so far. I mean, I'll probably do one more video kind of going a little bit more in depth, uh, into some things, but yeah, that's just my two cents. And I know everybody's going to have some different opinions, but, um, I don't know, like I'm excited about innovation and, uh, and you know things kind of improving playing stuff I've never seen before and there's a lot of good things with E3 that I've seen with that and a whole bunch of things I haven't been excited about So anyway, thanks for watching you guys. I sure do appreciate it more of this to come later on So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already you can follow me on Facebook Twitter all that great jazz But you guys are phenomenal people you really are. Thanks again for watching and as always you guys. I hope you have a good one